Well, welcome back everybody. We got the tractor underneath the hoist. Uh, we're down to the last two pins up front. Uh, we got the rear fenders off. We got the bolts off for the back brackets on both sides. Um, let's see, we got the exhaust off. That was going to be in the way. Uh, we got the two bolts off of that. The two bolts from underneath the pump. So I got to get this big bolt off. And then I got a pin on the other side I can pull out. And hopefully we should be able to pull the whole front end off in one shot. So I get this big bastard broke loose and we'll get these out. All right, so we got the pins out from up front. We're all the way down. Of course, I'm on the sheet metal, so that's not going to be good. But we should be able to get this to come up a little bit more. I might have to put the jacks underneath on this side so I can back it all the way out so this arm is to the front wheel then we can pick it up and over oh hopefully of course the problem is we gotta do the clutch in this and it doesn't like to go in the gear so yeah this is gonna be fun oh uh, hopefully we can get this off so i'll move the jack from here put it underneath there hopefully we can get it situated all right so we're getting it separated Whew. Bar back up. Shake. Oh, we look good on this side. Oh, looks like we're clear. Put that back up. Hey, I think this is going to be the first time seeing this tractor without the front end on it since I've had it. I mean, I've had the rear fenders off before. Cause I had to do some work on them. Uh, let's go back in here. This is gonna be tricky with one hand. Oh, of course, then move the jack. That might help. Put that thing over. Okay. Yep. On chunk, just about. Okay, there we go. Whew. We are free. Put that back down for right now. from the front cradle how about that that is the first time i've had that completely off this day of course it's going to be the first time splitting this tractor in half i've done all the motor work to it i've had the top end apart redid the head when i got it the first time um, i do need a new top manifold this thing is quite shot in here all the bolts are broke i've got a big giant hole on top of the freaking exhaust uh, I mean, I know I need a new radiator. I don't think I've done the water pump in this, but we've got a new starter. Uh, what did we do last year as well? Uh, new distributor assembly, uh, new coil, spark plug wire, new battery. Uh, we definitely have to get a new power steering pump. I think this one is about completely dead. Yeah, that's dead. We did replace a gear inside the case. I think it was the idling gear for it for a reverse. So the next thing should be pulling the steering and all that stuff off after we get this in the shop. But I've got to take the three point off and set that off to the side. Whew. Well, that's a good start for today. So I guess I'll clean my tools up. And I'll move on to the next project what needs to be done. I'll get to this later when it's not so rainy out. Because that's what I've been fighting all freaking day long is the rain. <sighs> and it's going to make it easier to drain the fluid out of this thing. Because that definitely needs a fluid flush. 
Well, I guess that's it for today.